so hba1c or glycated hemoglobin is the sum total or average sum total or average of the blood glucose which the patient has in the in the previous 3 months okay so a patient sometimes happens that the patient while doing the blood glucose test uh, does meticulous fasting and pp and then uh, but over over the next 3 months he does not have that adequate control so for us hg1c is a very good marker to diagnose that whether the patient is in adequate control over the over a prolonged period of time uh actually i think uh, the question should be where uh, do uh, if i have pre diabetes there is no such thing as borderline diabetes it is actually pre diabetes pre diabetes is defined as a blood glucose of fasting blood glucose of 100 to 125 mg per dl and post prandial blood glucose of 140 to 199 mg per dl so by the time this is this stage is called pre diabetes stage So by the time clinical de- diabetes develops in a patient, 50% of the beta cells are almost exhausted in that patient. So, if we start treating the patient from the pre-diabetes level, uh, the beta cell reserve is beta cell reserve is preserved, and the patient will also uh, in the micro and macrovascular complications of diabetes due to uh, Uh, micro and microvascular complications of diabetes can also be prevented in the long run so it is advisable to st- uh, to start treating the patients from the pre diabetes level associated with the lifestyle changes and together with the pharmacological therapy